Hey guys, so I just wanted to make this quick video on how I get super smooth speed ramps in Premiere Pro. This is a basic speed ramp. Now it looks okay, like you could probably get away with that. A lot of people would call that done. But to take it to the next level and make it extra smooth, before we set our keyframes, we're gonna nest it and warp stabilize it. I know what you're thinking, warp stabilizer. I could have thought of that, right? So that's just the first part. Now this is the second part to smooth speed ramping. It's how you adjust the keyframes. So if you click on it here, and then you see this thing, I don't really know what it's called, but I know what it does. If you leave it straight up and down, it's gonna be pretty much one speed as it goes from here to here. But if you curve it like this, it'll start slow and then it'll go quicker and then it'll slow down as it approaches the top. You do the same thing on this side. It's a more of an ease in and an ease out. So here's another clip. This is without warp stabilizer and without adjusting the speed ramp itself. It's not terrible, you know? Most clients probably wouldn't even know the difference. They'd probably be like, oh, this is good. But how can we take it to the next level? This clip here, as you can see, I've adjusted the speed ramps and also I have applied warp stabilizer. It's just a small detail that when you add up a lot of small details in a video, it just gives it a little bit more of a polished feel. So here it is again before, after. You can see it's just a little bit smoother. So it really starts with first how you get the shot and making sure that you get a smooth shot to begin with. Because a lot of times we use warp stabilizer to try to save a shaky shot. When in reality, I think it's better for these situations when you take a shot that's pretty good and you make it perfect. With the speed ramps, it should be purposeful. Your video should really only have a handful and it should be with a reason, not just speed ramping every shot because you're trying to make it more interesting. This shot, it starts at the beginning of the bathroom and it would take forever because the shot's in slow-mo if I let it just play out to get to the bathtub, but I wanted it to get to the bathtub in one shot. So that's my purpose behind using the speed ramp. So that's it guys. I just wanted to make a quick video on how I do smooth speed ramps in Premiere Pro. And if this video was helpful for you, please like and subscribe.